Hello everyone. So let's discuss the last problem of today's weekly contest. Sum of scores of built strings. So we are given a string and what we need to do is to return the sum of the longest common prefix of every suffix of this string with itself. So for example, if let's say this is a given string B A B A B. So its suffixes are like B A B B A B a b a b and b a b a b right so these are the suffixes now the longest common prefix of this with this is uh, one because this matches with this similarly longest common prefix of uh, this with this is zero because this is starting with one and this is starting with b so similarly the longest common prefix of this and this is three and this and this is again zero because it is starting with a and this one is starting with b so total in total like the sum of all these prefixes is nine so the answer will be nine now how to solve this so there is a very standard algorithm known as z algorithm which is uh, solving exactly this problem basically for every substring starting from i uh, it gives you the prefix in the uh, original string that is what we exactly want now if you don't know z algorithm and you want to learn about it you can watch this tusar roy video which in which he explains this z algorithm very beautifully uh, in this video let's look at uh, another approach to solve this problem let's say you don't know z algorithm uh so whenever you see some string problem uh you should at least give one try by solving it using hashing okay so let's uh, try to solve this problem also with hashing so for let let's uh, assume that this is our given string uh and uh, basically we have taken a prefix uh, a suffix of this string a b a b a b a b a basically this one and we are trying to uh, sorry not this one basically this one and we are trying to find the longest common prefix of this suffix with the exact string so we are trying to find the longest common prefix of this with this okay so how to do that so obviously we can do a linear search like we will just start comparing this with this and then move the forward move the pointer forward unless we have a conflicting character but that will require order and time for just one comparison like for one com for one suffix comparison so that is not efficient so let's we have to do better than order order n and see uh, clearly this is a search problem so given a search problem you don't want to do linear search and you want to optimize the first thing that should come to your mind is binary search so like in binary search just to uh, remind like what exactly happens uh, let's say this is the search space we divide the search space into exactly half and we if we have a function which will tell us that standing here we can take the decision of either searching in the left or searching in the right if we can take this decision and uh, skip searching half of the array then we will be able to apply binary search on that problem so let's try to evaluate this problem as well on similar parameters so let's say uh, we have this split point okay and now what we are exactly what we are saying is basically uh, our statement is true until this point what is the statement statement is basically this is exactly similar as this so basically we are saying that longest common prefix like this exactly matches with the prefix of the original string so if it does matches then whether we should search on the left or we should search on the right uh, obviously we should search on the right and we can safely skip the left part why because we already know that up till here everything is matching right so we also know that 
everything will be matching up till here as well up till here as well so there is no point in searching in the left part of the array we can safely skip the left part and uh, choose the right part similarly uh, if let's say uh, this part doesn't match with uh, this part then we can safely skip the right part and search in the right search in the left part of the array why because if this is not matching then by no uh, no matter what this this string will also not match right so hope uh, the intuition is clear so basically we are trying to uh, skip searching in the half of the array uh, if we know that some prefix of this exactly matches with some prefix of the original string so now the question is how to define this function like let's say we are at a point uh, i at this point now how we should define with like whether this matches with the same length of the original string so that's where hashing comes in so let's say you already calculated the hash of every uh, prefix of this string so let's say you have the hash of this you have the hash of this you have the hash of this and so on and so forth like you have the hash of this and this and so on and so forth up till the last point now you also let's say you also have the hash of this and this and this and this so you just need to match whether the this hash matches with this hash or not right if they are matching it means you can say that these strings are equal again we are assuming that there will be no collisions or all uh, but if they are matching then we can safely assume that these two strings are equal like basically ab ab is equals to ab ab now calculating hash of every prefix of this string is straightforward that is okay but how to calculate the hash of uh, like if we want to calculate the hash of every prefix of this string then it will be an issue right because if we are calculating the hash of uh, every prefix of this string then basically we are traversing this string again we will be uh, take it will be requiring order and time so how to optimize it basically we can say that this string is nothing but uh, a contiguous character in the original string right so if we have the hash of this entire part and if we have the hash of this part then we can safely calculate the hash of this part how uh, basically let's define a hash function first so let's say hash of abc is equals to p to the power 1 into a plus p to the power 2 into b plus p to the power 3 into d okay so let's say this is the hash uh, p where p is a prime uh, now if this is the hash okay so this this should be uh, this is c so if this is the hash now what should well like uh, and let's say you already calculated the hash of uh, every prefix like you you already have hash of ab which is p to the power 1 a plus p to the power 2 b and you already have the hash of a as well which is p to the power 1 of a now let's say you want to calculate the hash of bc how will you do that so we already know the hash of abc and we already know the hash of a so let's subtract this so basically we will subtract from this the hash of a which is p to the power 1 into a so this will be cancelled and this what we will be left with is this now what will be the hash of bc according to us the hash of bc would be 
p to the power 1 of into b plus p to the power 2 into c according to this hash function right so but what we have is p to the power 2 into b plus p to the power 3 into c so if we just divide this by p we will get the answer right so basically we just calculate the hash of every prefix of this original string and we will for let's say for any suffix we will what we will do we will just uh, uh, calculate like subtract let's say we want to uh, get the hash of suffix 6 to 10 so what we will do is we will sub we will uh, simply subtract the prefix hash of uh, 5 with prefix hash of the right bound which is 10 and then divide this entire thing with p to the power of 5 so this is prefix hash so this will give us the hash of 6 to 10 because prefix hash of 10 minus prefix hash of 5 will give us everything from here only thing will be uh, if, like we will be starting with p to the power 5 of p to the power 5 into a uh, but we should start with p to the power 1 so we will just divide with p to the power 5 so this like with this formula we can get the hash of every every substring of the original string so once we have the hash of every substring of the original string uh, our problem is solved basically we don't need to calculate the prefix hash of this string again and again we just uh, calculate the prefix hash from this original uh, prefix hash of the table so now uh, what the, the algorithm is simple we will uh, get to a point i calculate the hash of this and the prefix if they are matching go to the right if they are not matching go to the left and continue this until l is equals to r basically we will stop the uh, searching so hope the approach is clear uh, let's look at the code for this so the code is sim simple like let's say this hashing is a class uh, which will have a function get hash which can give you the hash from l to r okay now we've like what we will do for each like for each substring starting from j we will try to calculate the longest common prefix of this substring with the original string so basically we are trying to calculate the longest common prefix of string starting with j and ending with n with the original string starting with 1 and ending with n now we will do binary search while l, l less than r and see this the mid, midpoint this is the length of the current string basically uh, if we are at this midpoint let's say uh, we are at this b so the length will be 4 similarly if we are at this b the length will be 6 so that's what the length denotes and uh, we will calculate the actual hash actual hash is denotes the hash in the original string and we will calculate the prefix hash which basically denotes the hash in this suffix string and if they are matching uh, we will search in the right part so basically we will skip whatever was there in the right if they are not matching we will search in the left part so basically we are uh, moving our right pointer forward uh, backward so now if like this is one extra condition that, that we, need, we need to handle basically it may happen that our string starts with b so in that case uh, there is no suff like there is no like, uh, the answer will be zero like so that for that case uh, this condition like if l is j basically uh, we don't have any substring we will not add anything otherwise uh, we know that up to l it is matching so l minus j plus one now hashing function is uh, simple enough now so basically let's first look at uh, the get hash function which basically says uh, prefix of r minus prefix of l minus 1 uh, modulus mod and then we will just uh, multiply it with the inverse power of p to the power l 
uh, we we have just discussed right like we will just uh, sub, like divide it with the power of p to the power of 5 in that case so that's where p, p to the power of l we will just uh, multiply it with inverse power of p which is nothing but 1, 1 by p to the power of l now in the constructor we are building all this array so basically power of p we are building power of p is nothing but uh, p to the power of j is equals to p to the power of j minus 1 into p simple and p to the power of uh, uh, p to the power of j is equals p to the power of uh, 1 by p to the power of j equals to 1 by p to the power of j plus 1 into p so basically uh, if you need to calculate p to the power of j it is simply 1 by p to the power of j plus 1 into p so basically minus j sorry p to the power of minus j equals to this so that's what we have done and uh, this is the prefix hash uh, basically prefix hash of j is equals to prefix hash of j minus 1 plus uh, p to the power of j into current like similar to this one p to the power of uh, 1 into a p to the power 2 into t so 2 is basically the pointer of po pointer in the string j so p to the power of j into current so once we have prefix hash inverse power uh, we simply know how to calculate the hash from l to r and once we have hash of l to r we can uh, easily decide whether to go left or right in the binary search so hope the solution is clear if there is any doubts please comment them below i will answer them uh, so hope this uh, will give you some intuition of applying hashing so this kind of hash functions or, or hashing technique is common in all string algorithms so hope you get uh, some idea of how to apply hashing in this kind of situations uh, if there is any doubts please comment below if you like the content please give it a like thank you